Hey musicians, if you couldn't tell, today is a really special day. It's new clarinet day. I am absolutely surrounded in new clarinets. I have four brand new Yamaha B flat and four brand new Yamaha A clarinets to try, as well as my old clarinets, which are Yamaha as well. Today, I wanna to talk about the process of selecting a new clarinet for me, what I've been doing, and how I came to my final decision. Like many professional clarinet players, I started out playing buffet instruments with an E11 and then an R13. But after I got my first job playing with an orchestra, I started to feel like I had some issues with projection and intonation. I switched to the Yamaha CSG clarinet back in 2011, more or less, and I've been very happy ever since. I have my CSG B flat and CSG A clarinet and up until recently, they've served me really well. I'm looking for an instrument that has really good projection and really good intonation, but also a little bit more flexibility in sound. Today, I'll be sharing some of my observations about the CSG line of clarinets, the CSVR ASP, and the SE Artist series. I will also go ahead and let you know I'm playing on the original CSG clarinets, but right now the newest model is called the CSG3. Right here is my CSG B flat clarinet. It's in Hamilton plating, which looks a little bit like gold. And again, this is the instrument I've had the longest for about 10 years. What makes it so interesting is that the barrel is actually a little bit shorter and the top joint is a little bit longer. I believe this was to help fix some possible intonation issues on the clarinet, but I'm not 100% sure. Generally speaking, this clarinet is just like every other clarinet out there that is bone system at least, but the bore is a little bit more similar to the German or Oler system clarinets. It's not a true hybrid, but it does take its inspiration from the German bore. What I like about it is it has great intonation, it has good projection, and the tone is always dark and centered. Since this is the original CSG series, it doesn't have the left E flat, A flat auxiliary key, and it does not have any pitch correction keys in the back. Right now I have the stock barrel and I'm trying all of the clarinets with the same mouthpiece, uh, BD5, and the same Legere reed to get as much bias out of the way as possible. I've really loved this clarinet for a long time, uh, and it's sad to see it go to a new home, uh, but I am very, very happy with it, and anyone who's thinking about a clarinet should consider the CSG line of clarinets, especially if you're looking for that rich, centered, dark sound. Here I have my CSG A clarinet. It's basically identical to the CSG clarinet, except it's an A. Um, this is the original model, so it does not have the left E flat, A flat auxiliary key, and it also does not have the low note correction key. Um, I've been very happy with this clarinet as well. I think it has a very nice sound, uh, but I am very intrigued by having a clarinet with the low note pitch correction key. Especially on A clarinet, that can be very difficult. And since I also play multiple instruments, I'm probably not practicing my intonation as much as I could be. So that key might save me.
This next instrument I have is Yamaha's CSVR ASP. This is very similar to the CSVR clarinet, but it has a couple of extra features. One of them that you'll see is it does actually have the left E flat slash A flat key, which is pretty nifty. Although this one does not have one of the low F pitch correction keys, I find this clarinet does not really need one. It has very stable intonation and it has a very powerful sound. For me, this feels like the perfect clarinet for someone that wants to play in an orchestra or large ensemble, or maybe that needs a little bit of extra bonus to their projection. I love this clarinet. Uh, it also is really beautiful. The keywork feels excellent. It feels a little bit more at home than my CSG. I'm very, very happy with this instrument. This next clarinet is the CSVR ASP A clarinet, which again is basically the same clarinet that we just looked at, except in the key of A. I find this clarinet to be exceptional. The tone is very dark and very homogenous. Again, intonation is stellar. It does have the auxiliary key, which is awesome. It does not have any pitch correction keys, but again, I don't feel like this clarinet really needs them. I can play very loud and I can play very soft and still be relatively in tune. The other thing about this clarinet that is really unique compared to other A clarinets is its longest notes B and C match very well. I've struggled with that on other brands of clarinet. This one is really, really awesome. For those of you thinking about an orchestral career or a large ensemble in the future, do not skip the CSVR ASP or CSVR ASP A clarinet. It's awesome. The next model of clarinet that I have here is the Yamaha SE Artist model. Again, this is similar to the SE VR, but it is its own unique clarinet. We do have the auxiliary E flat and A flat key, which is pretty nifty. And now we actually have our low note pitch correction key. So when I play a very low note like F, <laughs> option to help the pitch stay up. Although honestly, I'm not feeling like, like I need to use it very much, which is pretty cool. One of the other things about this clarinet that is a little different is it actually has pink, rose, gold here, here, and on each of the little posts, giving it a little bit of a snazzy appearance. I dig it quite a bit.
One of the things about this clarinet that I do want to point out though, and again, I'm not sure if it's because of this or for other reasons, it is a little bit of a heavier clarinet. So if you're struggling with wrist pain, thumb issues, just be aware that this clarinet does feel heavier to me than all of the other clarinets I play tested. Having said that, it's a remarkable clarinet with a remarkable sound. It's very flexible, it's very dark, and it truly does feel like a soloist or an artist model instrument. Here I have the SE Artist A clarinet, which again is basically identical to the last clarinet we looked at, only it's pitched an A. It has the auxiliary key for your pinky, and it has the low note correction key in the back, which is very useful. Again, I'm not 100% sure that I'll be using it on this clarinet because it's very well pitched, but I like having the option. I really love this clarinet. It is without a doubt, the best A clarinet I've ever played in my life. It feels exactly like a B flat clarinet, just pitched an A, which is what we're all looking for. I couldn't be happier. And even though the CSVR might have a slightly more powerful sound, I do think this one can go toe to toe. I love its expressivity and I love its sound. I don't think that there's a better A clarinet out there. I'm sure by now you can tell that I'm going to be picking a new SE Artist Series set of clarinets. I've really loved this CSG and its counterpart A, and I really like those CSVR ASP clarinets as well. But for me, the SE Artist is what I'm looking for. I can be very loud, I can be very, very soft, I have very good pitch stability, an excellent sound, but it's flexible. I can be a little on the brighter side or a little bit on the darker side, depending on the music that I'm playing. Since I currently don't play in a large professional full-time orchestra, I'm looking for something that will help me more in the recital setting. As a teacher, I really want to foster artistry, and I think the SE Artist Clarinets are my best chance to foster my own artistry. As you can see over here, I actually have four more clarinets to go through. I was very lucky to be able to compare multiple types of the same clarinet. I do want to say, actually, that between both SE Artist sets of clarinets, they were essentially identical. And for the CSVR clarinets, they were truly identical. If it wasn't for the serial numbers on the instruments or the nice stickers that they added to them, I would have totally lost track of which one was which. It's quite remarkable. 
I feel like I could play 10 Yamaha clarinets of the same model and all 10 of them will be exactly the same. They're excellent instruments, great sound, great intonation, great projection, and for me, great flexibility, especially with the SE Artist models. If you're thinking about clarinets, Yamaha really is the way to go. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. It's not every day you get to play with 10 really awesome clarinets. It's been a lot of fun for me, and now that I've picked my new instrument, well, there's just one thing left to do. Practice.